Yo, 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 it's Overt Flow, a.k.a. Overt, a.k.a. Mr. Flow, a.k.a. Wesley Snipes, a.k.a. Mr. Camp So Hard to Make Wings of the Redemption Look Like a Rusher, a.k.a. The Tactical Sniper, a.k.a. Some Bush Guy with Sniper Rifle, I don't know, I don't know. I was watching Mark of J videos. God, I should probably let him do his own intros from now on. That's that's just weird. Anyways, what's up, Flows? Don't you know I love all you. What's up, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's going to be with the LSAT. Nothing incredible, just a little chill gameplay. I think I, I get, like, something like 40 kills. Um, this was from, like, I think the first day that the maps came out. I don't know, so whatever. I thought it was cool. I saved it. I'm going to show it to you guys, especially because I don't know if sub boxes are still working. Um, so... Whatever, man. I still like to do videos because I it's something I personally enjoy doing. It helps calm me down. It makes me feel good. You know what I mean? It's not so much for you as it is for me. It's for both of us. It works both ways, you know what I'm saying? But what I do want to ask you guys, can you help me combat the sub box issue by leaving a like right now before we even get into the video? Um, just right now. Just stop for, for me. Please support the channel. Go down and leave a like right now. Um, I'll give you a few seconds to do that. Okay. Did you do it? All right. Hold on. Alright, thank you, thank you. You come on man, I see you right there. You're not really you're not gonna click it? You're not Okay, good. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it, you guys. Sub boxes have been complete ish lately. They have not been working at all. My goodness, I average fifteen hundred views per video with three hundred likes per vid. Um is about my average. As of late, for like two weeks, man, sub boxes have not been working at all. People are complaining left and right. If you guys haven't been seeing my videos in your sub box, let me know and go back and check out some of the videos I upload every day, you guys. Um, so, like I said, 1,500 views, 300 likes is my average. I've only been getting about 500 views and 100 likes. So, that's a th that's two thirds down. I'm only getting a third of what I'm used to. So, it's really awkward and it makes you kind of want to punch somebody in the face like YouTube. But. If you guys can help me combat that, I would appreciate it. And today we're going to be talking about map sizes and all that good stuff. In Call of Duty Ghosts, in Call of Duty MW3, BO2, whatever. I kind of touched on it in my quick scoping video, but I do want to touch on it just a tad bit more just to give you guys my full perspective on it. And of course, as always, I do want to know what you guys think of it. Do you guys like the map sizes from Black Ops 2? Do you guys like the map sizes from MW3? Or do you prefer the bigger maps or the bigger variety of maps from games like MW2, Black Ops 1, COD 4, stuff like that? That's what we're going to be covering today, and that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about. So yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, brother, let's do it. Call of Duty Ghosts. They've already, they've already explained that they're going to make changes in the map sizes and the map layout so that every playstyle, every gun class is going to be viable in every map, in every situation, on every level. Does that make sense? Cool. Perfect. And that's something that I think that they've been missing. Black Ops 2, um, MW3 have been missing those things, those features, whatever you want to call it. Back during the time of MW2, World at War even, World at War had pretty big maps, but it's still viable to use every class. World at War, Black Ops 1, MW2, Call of Duty Foe. All of those games, it seemed to me, at least, that on a large majority of the maps you could use any gun that you wanted and it could be just as effective as any other gun. If you knew the map, if you knew where to go, let's think of a random map uh, crash from Call of Duty 4. What could you do on that map? You could use a sniper, an LMG, a big baby assault rifle, a submachine gun, a shotgun. Let's talk about where you could use snipers and LMGs. The three story building, you could go to the roof and use it. Uh, LMGs, the two-story building on the C side, was it? Or the A side? Whatever. Two-story buildings on both sides. You could use it there. Blah, blah, blah. SMGs, run around, use them, whatever you want to do. World at War. Let's call out Castle real quick. In Castle, you could use snipers because there was a huge open area of the map. You could use snipers, LMGs right there. Um, you want to use SMGs? Stick to the parts of the map with the close quarters, like the main castle part of the building, whatever, stick to there, there you go, SMG land right there, MW2, uh, what do you want, what do you want to pick, high rise, you could snipe from across the map, or you could run around, use your SMGs, then we get to like MW3, or and we'll say Black Ops 1, 2, of course, uh, array, huge map, but if you stick to the middle tower area, of course, you could use your SMGs all day, outside snipers and LMGs kind of rule, whatever, but you can use both guns. Now we get to maps like in MW3 and Black Ops 2, right? All the maps are, um, Arcaden. Could you use a sniper there? No. 
If you wanted to, it would be a novelty. There's no reason to use it. It was an SMG-based map. Black Ops 2. Let's think of, uh... I don't know. Some... You know what? I'm gonna actually add another gameplay onto this so that I'm not gonna have to rush this commentary. Let's think of another thing. Okay, so Black Ops 2. Um... We'll go with, uh... What's a map that came with it that was... That I play? Standoff, okay? Stand... You know what? Actually, Standoff's a decent map. It's one of the few decent maps, I think. So, anyways, we'll go with Hijacked, okay? Hijacked. Can you snipe on that? Sure, but it's a novelty. All the maps are SMG or shotgun based in Black Ops 2 and MW3. They're definitely not designed for the the more laid back playstyle, the conservative playstyle. They're not designed for that kind of guy. They're more designed for the fa fa the wow stutter. Um, they're more designed for the fa 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 fast paced gameplay getters. They're more designed for those guys, and uh, that's how it's been. And what that ends up doing is making the game so. Uh, Twitch reflex based and so fast paced that uh, the camera angles are messed up. Have you ever killed somebody or have you ever been killed by somebody before they even came around the corner? That's due to the fast paced nature of the game and of course the lag to some extent. Um, but because they made the game so fast they weren't able to properly fix camera angles and stuff like that. We saw a little bit in Umbrella 3 but Black Ops 2 the character models have moved faster than ever. They definitely need to slow down the character models I think for ghosts and um yeah, people beg for these small maps. People beg for all these, uh, you know, fast-paced rushing maps, not realizing that you're going to get a lot of BS included with it, like corner campers, like quick scopers, like uh, one-hit kill shotguns that are bothersome, like camera angle deficiencies, and stuff like that. So what I'm totally stoked about, bro, is the fact that in the Call of Duty Ghosts, they said that they're making a specific push to make the maps more balance to cater all playstyles, all weapon playstyles, cater all the guns, all that stuff. If you want to snipe on a map, they've designed long lines of sight for the maps, or so they claim. If you want to use an SMG on a map, they've designed corridors and close quarters combat areas to use SMGs and shotguns. If you want to use an LMG, you can use it. Assault rifle, they have medium distant engagement places. That's what they are claiming, and if that's the case, and from what I've seen, and from what I've heard, the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts are bigger than the maps in Black Ops 2 and MW3, and I'm not saying that I want huge maps, what I'm saying is I want a balance. I want, if I want to snipe on every map, I should be able to do that, um, for sure. Like, I shouldn't have to be like, oh, it's, I don't know, freaking this map. Oh, you know what that means? It means that I can't snipe on this map, even though it's my favorite thing to do. It means that I have to use a shotgun on this map. Like, I don't want to play that way. I want to play how I want to play every single map. Or, if you're not going to do that for me, give me the choice to pick the maps I want to play so that I can snipe and have fun. Because we all have different play styles. We all enjoy the game in different ways. And um, it's not fun when you're forced to play a certain way. Like, if I go onto a map and me using an SMG is going to be totally ineffective against somebody using an LMG, then I don't want to play that map. You know what I mean? I want to do it where everything's balanced, everything's equal, we're on an equal footing, and we all can use certain power points within the map to play the game we want to, how we want to play it. I think that that's the most fair option. And in Ghost, apparently the map sizes are going to be um, incredibly different. They're going to have more variety, and they're going to be fixed so that everybody can have an enjoyable gaming experience, which I personally think is super cool. I enjoy the fact that they're uh, trying to take out quick scoping, quote unquote, to some extent, and they're trying to make snipers more balanced, because for me, sniping in Black Ops 1 was my favorite thing in the world, and um, I've been talking about this so much lately, and I will make a commentary about it, but if sniping is actually going to be sniping again, you guys are going to see... I will still drop 100 pluses and stuff for you guys, don't get me wrong on that, but you guys are going to see some crazy sniper gameplays from me, and crazy as in not, oh, I'm quick scoping everybody, crazy as in I'm going to be going like 80 to 0, 100 to 0, sniping in the back, getting my kill streaks, playing smart, tactically playing the map, um, it's something that I did during Black Ops 1, and during that time, I think that I started Black Ops 1, um, May 20th, I believe, was when I started my YouTube channel during Black Ops 1, so I only had you know, five months to actually grow my channel, and in five months, the first five months of me having a YouTube channel, I gained 2,000 subs, and I got relatively known within the sniper community for being a super huge camping sniper, which some people didn't like it, but for me, 
that's the way I like to play. I like to be a big, fat, campy sniper. And hopefully with ghosts, I can return to my wicked ways of being a super big, evil camper sniper guy. And if that's the case, then you guys... Some of you guys might not like it, but I know that it's going to make my channel much more unique than a lot of guys. Because I don't know of any camping snipers besides myself. And um, I'm super excited for it. And you know you know what it is. Hopefully what that means for Team Caliber though too. Because you guys know I'm not a montage maker. My intro tage for Team Caliber though should be coming out uh, very soon. It's already with the editor and all that. And what it means for Team Caliber is I will still be supplying clips when I get them. But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to try to start a series like... Uh, super high kill death series with snipers on Team Caliber um, because that's my thing, you know what I mean? And I've already explained to everybody that what type of sniper I am and Chaos has accepted it. Uh, hopefully the other guys accept it. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. I appreciate everything, but I, I'm not a montage sniper, you guys. I'm a, I'm a, like, I promise you if sniping is the way that it was um, during Black Ops 1 in Ghosts, if it's going to be like that, like serious sniping like that, I promise you, good golly gosh, I swear to goodness gracious, that I will have over 5kd for sure, easy, and I will be the best sniper on YouTube, 100%. So here's to hoping, and the best as far as stat-wise and what type of games I pull, because I guarantee you nobody else is going to be pulling 100 plus with zero deaths games with sniper rifles like this guy here. So, super excited about that. And, um, yeah, you know what, I might as well throw in, I'll probably throw in, like, some kills on sniping or some type of sniping gameplay, just since we're talking about sniping so much. But, all in all, the last thing that I want to say, God, this was, like, eight different topics in once. What, what am I even going to call this? Ghosts. All information ever. That's a good title. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I probably should name that just to be hilarious. So, yeah, map sizes should be super bomb. I'm really stoked about it. My brother's... Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like bigger maps. Let me know if you like smaller maps. Let me know if you don't mind variety. Or if you're one-sided and you only want small maps like MW3, BL2. Because that's ridiculous, man. I think that everybody should have a fair and equal chance. Fair and equal footing. My gosh. YouTube, will you please work? Because I want to upload these videos so that everybody can see it. Not just 200 of the 16,000 people subscribed to me. If you guys don't know, the average viewer... To subscriber ratio is about 10%, 8 to 13%. So, um, for a, a channel with 10,000 subs, 1,000 views per video is about the right amount because you gotta factor in inactive subs, dead subs, people that don't watch every single video. Maybe uh, with 10,000 subs, 1,000 viewers per video, you actually have 3,000 active subs, but they don't catch every video. You know, it all depends on what catches people's eyes. So, I actually have an average size channel, which is cool. 1500 views a video or 1600 views a video 16,000 subs but as of lately I've been having the results of like a 5,000 sub channel because YouTube doesn't want to be on its A-game my brothers and I don't even know how many of you guys are going to be watching this because it's not subboxing properly my gosh goodness gracious Jesus Jesus okay so yeah if you guys could please leave a like if you're still here help combat the problem my brothers let me know what you think down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and um yeah um oh one more question do you guys want more Q&A videos from me, myself, and I? I haven't done them in like, what, two weeks now? Or not even. I actually recorded some, but I just uploaded them like a week ago, right? I recorded one with my dad, one with the girl, stuff like that. If you guys want more Q&As, I actually am planning on doing some with some buddies. But if you want some of my own personal Q&As, um, let me know. Let me know for sure, you guys. Let me know. I love you guys a ton. Um, this video has gone on longer than I expected it to. But you guys are absolutely beautiful. I love you guys long time. And subscribe if you're new. Please leave that like. Help combat the sub box issues. I am over and out.